Hey, it's me, Reynard Wilson, and I'm back once again for another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the approximately weekly show where I, Reynard Wilson, talk about one man and one man only. His name is Mark Steele, and he's been called Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist. And we talk about him mainly because he's funny. But today's episode really isn't very funny. Today's episode is about the effects that Mark Steele has on real people. Take, for example, Michael, the, the person we mentioned a few weeks ago. Uh, he's the guy that Mark is going to try to defend. Well, we've had a bit of news about Mark and Michael, and their legal project isn't going very well. Yeah. Michael's had no disclosure at all. He was arrested. He wasn't hiding anywhere. They know where he lives, but they took it themselves to actually jump him. They willfully haven't sent him any documentary evidence. You got the documentary evidence of the court case he was supposed to have missed. It sounds like Michael has got himself arrested because he failed to turn up to a magistrate's court hearing. And, and that's a pretty serious thing. If you, if you are summoned to court, you have to turn up. The clerk told us that in a criminal case, he wasn't entitled to a Mackenzie. I don't agree with that. Right? Mark wanted to play the role of a Mackenzie friend. And, and in British civil law, uh, a Mackenzie friend is a, is a non-lawyer, a, a layperson who represents somebody in court. And usually that has to be with the permission of the judge. It's not an automatic right. The judge has to grant it. But that right doesn't exist in criminal courts because in criminal court you are supposed to be represented by a barrister. You have a right to a barrister if you want one. Um, Mark would be the worst possible person to represent poor Michael because he has no idea what he's talking about. We've just spoken to the court staff. Some of them have actually been vaccinated. We've told them about the antenna. We've told them about this, this biotech weapon that's now starting to come out in this. It sounds like Mark isn't really trying to represent Michael at all. He, he's just trying to push his weird agenda. He's, he's annoying the court staff. So they've blocked the public going in. Why do they want to shut the public gallery? Why? Well, I think the answer to that question is really obvious. It's because, Mark, you were there annoying the hell out of everybody in that court. They just took one look at you and realised that you were the last person they need if they wanted to have an orderly and sensible court hearing. All Michael did was take to the school documentary evidence to show that the flu mist was actually lethal to children. Right. Well, if that's all Michael did, I'm, I'm sure he did nothing wrong and he has absolutely nothing to worry about. But I have a little feeling that that's not all Michael was up to. And uh, there's this report from The Chronicle, that's the, the local newspaper, that kind of suggests that maybe Michael was one of a group of people staging a, a, a somewhat outrageous protest on school grounds. The following day, Mark and Michael met again outside Newton Aycliffe Magistrates Court. And from the tone of Mark's voice, I don't think he's learnt any lesson at all. Yeah. Magistrates Court today, we know, right, a defence in law to harassment is when you're exposing crime and criminal activity. They tried to gag me and early on in 2018 when I exposed the fact that the LEDs, the 5G network was part of a weapon system to kill. And now Do you get the impression that Mark doesn't really care what happens to Michael? I don't think this was ever about helping Michael through the difficult court process. No, no, this was all about Mark Steele trying to make another Mark Steele point. I said, we'll see what happens to dear, but I've got no doubt it'll most certainly end up in a Crown Court where we Mark clearly doesn't have an ounce of compassion for his friend. He's rooting for this to end up in Crown Court, where the sentences can be so much more severe than a magistrate's court. And just look at Michael. He's like a lamb to the slaughter. And believe me, Michael, Mark will slaughter you if he gets the chance, if he thinks he's going to have a chance to make a point. Court, where we will show the actual evidence, the diabolical plan to kill off 77% of the UK's population in a very... And can you imagine how well that argument is going to go down in a British Crown Court? It's a criminal court intended to work out 
whether Michael harassed a school teacher. To have that curmudgeonly idiot come along ranting about Brigade 77 and, and lampposts and vaccines, it's never going to work. It's just going to get his friend banged up. He cannot get a single solicitor, not a barrister. We've wrote the Northeast Chambers. We've tried to get solicitors. Nobody wants to represent him because of the controversy in this particular case. The no, there's nothing controversial about this case. It's a routine harassment charge, and that magistrate's court could have dealt with it fairly simply. No, the only thing that makes this case difficult is the fact that Mark Steele is attached to it and no barrister, no solicitor, nobody with the slightest ounce of legal training wants to be connected to that. The only thing making Michael's life impossible is Mark. Obviously decided to go to the school myself and obviously see what was going on. Uh, the, the, the school then arranged for safeguarding over my son and I wasn't allowed to see my son. I, I feel sorry for Michael. The, the, the guy can barely string a sentence together. He, he's clearly not the sharpest guy in the world. And he's come under influence of Mark Steele. Mark is telling him to do these things. Mark probably told him to go to that school and start annoying those teachers. This is all you, Mark. The best thing Michael could do would be to separate himself from Mark Steele for the rest of his life. Yeah, Durham const Constabulary that have basically ter terrorised me, 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 me family, me close family, by obviously looking, looking for me after I've made contact with the school just to make sure that they're listening to what I'm saying and obviously... Michael, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's what the police will do if you don't turn up to your court hearing. We just have to keep on going forward because we know that we've got the truth and we'll, we'll prevail in the end. Michael doesn't sound all that confident, does he? And nor should he. He's got a terrible case and he has got an absolute idiot advising him. There was no intent to harass. What there was, there was a, an intent to inform people who are probably just a little bit thick. Uh, they got Michael arrested for harassment. Now, what and that was from Mark's daily Save Us Now Zoom meeting the following day. It, it's clear that he has so much contempt for everybody else involved in this case, the teachers, the court system. He thinks everyone is an idiot, except himself. The district judge was a little bit on the dim side, obviously panicking. She said that she didn't receive payment. She actually had it in front of her. And it was interesting enough, there was people in the court who were watching her lip sync as Michael was reading out his statement. So she did have his statement. <laughs> Well, that's the conspiracy theory cherry on top of the pie. It, it really just, it's beyond belief, isn't it? Well, <laughs> I'm just a bit riled up now. I, I honestly, I, I'm so annoyed with Mark Still, He's such an idiot and he's ruining that young man's life. That poor guy knows no better. <sighs> well. I can't say this has been the most fun episode of Mind of Steel, but uh, let's hope uh, by next week I find some just wacky lamp post madness, just so we can all have a good old chuckle again. Right, uh, I'm done with this.